Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Copycat. Now this is an upcoming title where you play as a cat. Apparently you follow the tale of Dawn as the name of the cat and it's a, apparently a skeptical shelter cat which, uh, you know, tries to escape all the time and doesn't trust anyone. Now, to be fair, uh, ever since Stray came out and if you know what Stray is, good for you, people kind of understood that, you know, world from the eyes of animals are... A little bit more interesting than, you know, just running around with a gun in your hand, at least that's my opinion. But uh, Copycat is an indie dev. It's a full-blown indie dev. They actually even call themselves an indie dev, which is weird, but uh, oh well. Anyhow, we're here to have a look at this. Now, since this is a um, technically early access, not really beta of the game, there's no real hardware requirements. Uh, what we do know is you need at least 4 gigabytes of video memory. So honestly, that puts you in a ballpark for starting from 1050 Ti all the way up to 4090, really. You know, all of that will have 4 gigs, so 970 4 gigs, technically. So, you know, you can go as low. This game is, does not require too much processing power, I think. So, yeah, let's have a look at uh, the settings we're going to be running this game on. As usual, we're going to go with the 4K native, uh, full screen. Highest quality preset, uh, no vertical sync, and the aliasing is turned up to eight times. Reason being, just for the sake of argument, I don't think you need anti-aliasing in 4K, but that's just my opinion. Feel free to, you know, crank it up as you want. Textures is on ultra, probably that's going to be the only thing pulling any kind of video memory. And texture filtering is set on high, but we'll see how it all goes because this game does have its own little art style, so it's not exactly your, you know, like Unreal Engine 5 with Lumen, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, enough chit chat, let's jump in, MSI upper left, I am experimenting with a little bit of uh, opacity for the background, and uh, yeah, let's just have a look. Also, this game strongly re recommends of you having a controller, whichever controller, something looks like a controller, they want you to have it, but we're gonna run this with the mouse and keyboard, and even look at this, there's a, like a little paw in the mouse cursor, so it's kind of cool. Anyhow, let's rock and roll and... Uh, See how we go. Current progress. Wow, there's no progress made, but let's let's go. You must be excited. The kittens are just up ahead. No, oh, leave the kittens for the children. Gotcha. Then let me show you our adult cats. Forgive me, but haven't we seen you around here before? Didn't you come in a few weeks ago looking for a missing cat? Darling, I won't blame you for thinking all us old ducks look the same. It's a little walk down the hall. Uh, are you okay? I'll be fine. I'm not dropping dead anytime soon. Be shy. I look pleased to meet you. Go on, get a little closer. Right, as you get closer. Looking for something in particular? Yes, actually. Oh, we can now choose a cat! Loves food. Greedy guts. Don't let it take advantage of you. Well, uh, this one is nice and healthy, considering it was born in the walls of an apartment block. Oh, we're getting a little narration as well. Oh boy, uh, I'm... This one will I'm... meow absolutely anything that moves. Birds, bicycles, even the microwave. Oh, this she looks nice. She likes to get up high and knock things off the table. Tricky lady. Tricky ladies. 
Let's take Tricky Lady. Is she the one? Yes. She's the one. Great. This cat is very active. She'll run around the house all day long. Are you sure you're okay? You're looking a little pale. I don't feel so well. Would you like to sit down? Let's not rush into anything. No, just give me a minute. Adopting a pet solo is a big responsibility. We're not going to be playing fetch. I can handle a cat. Sure. We'll proceed when you're ready. One last step. Let's fill out this form together. I give my full consent that my adopted cat will become a part of my life moving forward. I agree to treat this cat in a humane, loving and respectful manner. I wonder if the cat's going to do the this same, but you know. This <laughs> cat will live under my roof and have a place to call home. Okay. Well, she's all yours. She's found her new family. She has. You okay back there, darling? I'm a firm believer in getting to know someone before I judge them. You agree? <laughs> Great. I'm Olive. I think we're going to be good friends. Now, what do you think of the name Dawn? Got a nice ring to it. My dearest Dawn. I mean, the performance is absolutely fine for now. Now, this game was actually made in uh, a Raylib, which is uh, kind of an open source uh, game engine, so that's why probably it's not taking too Don't much resources. Worry. We're nearly home. Home is the base where everything begins. This is my home, and now it's yours too. Ready to come out, Dawn? Yep, let's go. Hi, Olive. How are you? Giving me the silent treatment. You're safe here. I won't hurt you. I mean, we don't have to scratch our bite, I assume, right? Oh, come on, please, devs. <laughs> Give me a third option, not, not to hurt this old lady. Like, she's done nothing to us. Scratch bite. Ah, oh. uh, I think a scratch might be less damaging for old persons. Ow! Oh, don't get your knickers in a knot. Okay, let's look around. See how this environment treats our frames. I see you. Is somebody a little bit hungry? Mm. 
Okay, let me move. Keep your distance, lady, no touching. Right, so what we have, we're pulling 6.2 gigs of uh, video memory allocated, probably just because of the ultra res, uh, well, or high or ultra texture packs. CPU is absolutely fine, we're pulling 7.8 of RAM and we're above 60 frames in 4K, so I was... I would want to say, you know, you can run this with pretty much everything. And it is kind of nice, really, you know. Not exactly your regular stray experience, because that was from the third person, or third catson view. Uh, this is from POV, I guess, of the cat. Oh, it's all right. It's just the telephone. Dawn, Dawn, come back. Hey, Mum, it's me. The nurse told me you were discharged on the weekend, so don't pretend like you're not at home. I'm just a bit worried about you. Please call me back. Dawn, you want a cuddle? I'd really like one. Oh, my cat is absolutely not nice at all. It's almost like actually being a cat. Okay. Also, Olive is really an actual human, I must say. Five minutes once you brought a cat into new environment with uh, he doesn't know what's where and you want to cuddle him. <laughs> That's always going to go so well. But yeah, so far I do like, this is definitely one of those games you play in your own pace. Wakey, you just wakey, explore and just do things, time. you know. A little bit of freedom of movement would be nice. Come on, you can trust me. Come on, let's go. Oh, that's what all humans say. Got our grumpy pants on today. I'm just going to the pharmacy. Don't get into too much trouble while I'm gone. Okay, Dawn? Come on, food. That cat. Oh, hello. We're now in third person. Safe spot. It's been a couple days. We should be absolutely fine by now. Also, we should be exploring the house. You know, that's that's what cats do. They need to understand the environment. See what they can knock off the table. Still hungry. Let's find more and fill up this bowl. How to cat. Move. WSD. Jump space. Run. Shift. Meow. F. Okay, fair enough. And favorite thing of the cats is not available. I'm not going to be trapped in this house a minute longer. Come on. Come on, Dawn. She really got her knickers in a twist here. Here we go again. New home, new rules, new people. I wonder if this game was made by the cat person. Hey. I mean, this is absolutely not bad, to be fair. Okay, I think 
me. We need a little snack here. Come on, Don. Let's drop this bread into my bowl. Why? What? Okay. I guess this is just for you to learn the level, so to say, so it's fine. What other food? Right, fair enough. So, performance-wise, I must say this game is absolutely playable, and <laughs> I must say you don't need a, a 4000 series GPU for that. It feels very nice. It looks... Uh, there is a, a, a certain art style. I do believe it's because of the way the engine actually looks or, you know, renders the things. But in general, I wouldn't say that this is bad. And again, this is not... It, it's not supposed to be your... You know, some... Cat refers to any of the five living members of the genus Panthera. It's not supposed to be the best-looking thing. It's the story-driven game, and as a story-driven game, I must say this is absolutely fine. Wildcats have eyes designed for hunting. They use their peripheral vision to stay alert, but their main focus is always directly in front of them. They can spend hours waiting for the right time. To okay. Finally, you can... Olive, where's your gaming setup? Missing, see, she, she's missing a cat. I wonder if, if you pick a different cat, it's gonna look like you or not, really. It kind of looks like us, I think, uh, maybe the... We're supposed to just replace the cat, obviously, you know, people people who love animals will try to replace an animal with a similar looking one. Or not replace at all, it's just the, you know, duality of things. Oh my god, this bathroom is so spacious though. I mean, nice. Right, anyhow. Let's get it down here. And yeah, it plays absolutely fine with the uh, mouse and keyboard, to be fair, so I wouldn't say there's a, a huge issue if you don't have a controller. Two down, one to go. Okay, so we're finding three different types of food. Fair enough. I think... We need to knock something off the table. We need to cut a little bit here. Yes. Okay. Now now it's our place. We made a mess. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue with the second floor. I truly hope Dawn will be nicer to Olivia than he was before. Mom, it's me. Stop ignoring me and just pick up the phone. I don't care how independent you feel. We need to sort out your next steps with the retirement home. Call me back. Oh no, Olive's going to retirement home. I don't like the daughter. You know, you want to talk with your mother? Come, come over yourself. Okay, Don. Okay. Right, so if you actually know what Salem is, as a cat, or Salem, I must say I picked the right choice here. Look at this guy. A flying cat. It's... This is exactly how it should be. Someone else has been here. Oxygen? Sleep apnea? No idea. Okay, right, let's levitate towards a different location. And as you can see, even abusing the physics in terms of 
levitating. It's it's not uh, churning out, you know, any frame dips or anything. So it's kind of nice. Also, I do believe jumping will actually break this weird physics glitch. I wouldn't say that uh, I'm used to such happenings, but uh, you know. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. There we go. Should be back to normal. And you cannot jump while, while going down. Okay, fair enough. Right. Hello. Hello. Come on, get up. The paws of wildcats are similar to that of the common house cat. Their claws play a key role in bringing down prey. Right, I think we need to kind of end it here, really. I, I I, have an idea what might happen later on, but uh, I don't want to ruin for you guys. This game currently has got a uh, demo available on Steam. Grab it, play it around, explore, and be a cat. And on this note, I'm going to leave you to it. So yeah, performance is absolutely fine, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.